guys! Today's video is gonna be a review of the Scruples That Matter A5 Pro Edition dotted notebook that I've been using since June this year. I'm almost running out of this journal actually, so I feel like I'm definitely ready to share my experiences with it. So let's walk through some basic stats first. This notebook comes with 155 numbered dotted pages. It has one key page, three index pages, and a pen test page in the end of the journal. The paper has a crispy white color and it's 160 GSM thick, which makes it comparable with the Archer and Olive notebooks and other premium quality bullet journals out there. This one also has a pen loop, two bookmarks, a back pocket, and faux leather covers. One interesting feature that I found super helpful are these small markings in the middle of the pages, so you know which dot line is the middle one, and it also shows the center of the page. I use this small feature almost every time I set up new pages, and it makes counting the dots really easy. The size I have is the standard A5 size and it's pretty much exactly the same with the Archer and Olive and also the Loistrum and the Limoum if you're familiar with any of those notebooks. And while we're at it, here you can also see the paper color and dot size comparison to my other notebooks. I would say the paper color is as close as it gets to the Archer and Olive paper. These two are definitely more pure white compared to the other notebooks I have, which have more or less of an ivory tone. I think the dots in the scribbles that matter are maybe slightly lighter than in the Archer and Olive, but otherwise there is not much difference. But now let's move on to a pen test so we can see this beautiful paper in action. I've gathered some of my microns, colorful brush pens, and even my black Tombow that definitely shows through in the other notebooks that have thinner paper. The results are super impressive, as you could expect, there is pretty much nothing showing through, and I even took a picture of my notebook with my phone to show the page in more natural lighting as well. I've done the same pen test to all my other notebooks as well, so I'll show them here too. I know most of you are probably interested to see how this compares with the Archer and Olive notebooks since they have the most similar features, but I think it's nice to see especially how the paper thickness affects the amount of ghosting in general. I would personally choose something over 100 GSM even if I was starting out bullet journaling today because there are just so many good options out there with very reasonable prices as well and the ghosting is my biggest pet peeve while journaling that I simply don't want to experience anymore. But yeah, I think we can all agree that the Scribbles That Matter and the Archer and Olive are the winners of the pen test, but between these two again, it's very hard to notice any difference. Next, let's do a quick watercolor test that is also something I've done to all of these other notebooks in the past. If you use watercolors lightly and don't expect to get a perfect blending experience, you're definitely able to create some simple illustrations with them, However, I think you can see here how the paper starts to break pretty easily when you work with the same area for too long, and it also causes the paper to wrinkle quite a lot, which is also visible on the other side. I use quite a lot of watercolors and gouache paints in my notebooks, but I haven't found a bullet journal that would do better than this, honestly. To me, they all seem to have the same problem, so if you want to create anything bigger and more complicated, I would highly suggest just buying real watercolor paper and then just gluing or taping the final picture to your journal. This is the approach I mostly use, and it just takes so much pressure out of the whole experience. But again, small, simple drawings that don't use too much water are definitely possible to create directly onto the notebook as well, so I think that's mainly a personal preference. Then something I've had quite many of you ask is how do these notebooks work with alcohol-based markers? I happen to own some Copics, so I'll show you a quick test with them here, but I think many of you using markers like these can already guess the end result. 
deeply true as they do from most paper honestly i don't even expect a bullet journal to handle pens like these because i'm already having a hard time even finding actual sketchbooks that would have zero bleeding through with these but yeah unfortunately alcohol markers are a no Another question I've had is if you can use a fountain pen with this notebook. I recently got my very first fountain pen so I can finally show you this as well. And I would say it's definitely usable. There's no bleed through or ghosting but the ink feathers a tiny bit in my opinion and the writing experience is maybe not as smooth as you would like. I personally stick with my microns for the bullet journal but I found a pen, especially one with a finer tip, should work just fine. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much all the technical stuff out of the way. As for my own experience, I've definitely enjoyed using the Scribbles That Matter Pro Journal for the past months. I think from strictly a user standpoint, this is exactly the same or even a bit better compared to the Archer and Olive if you take the page numbers and the small dot markings into account. The only thing I think the scribbles that matter journals are lacking is the design and color selection. I just wish they would come up with some boring light muted colors because personally I'm not the biggest fan of the bright color section and color combinations. So people at scribbles that matter, if you're watching this, please please consider expanding the color line. However, I still think this is definitely one of the best bullet journal options on the market. I think it's definitely worth the money and I would 100% purchase this again. Now I do have a 10% discount code for you guys and to be completely transparent it does benefit me a little bit as well if you use it but I just want you to know that I've bought this journal with my own money. This video is not sponsored, all of these opinions are my own and Scribbles That Matter did ask me to do a review like this. So yeah, the code is just there for you since they were so kind to reach out to me after they saw I'm using their journal. These notebooks are also available on Amazon on, but the code only works on their own website. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. If you have any further questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you're new here and you're into art and journaling, please consider subscribing. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are and see you in my next one. Bye bye!